Hey guys, so today we're going on a little road trip to Norwich, which is about two hours drive away. Yep, coronavirus has hit London pretty hard, but apparently there are not many cases in Norwich and we kind of wanted a day out anyway. So uh, we thought, why not go and visit somewhere which is close, but somewhere that we've never actually been. So should be exciting. Let's go and check it out. So we came to our favorite Mexican restaurant, Nana Mexico. They have uh, a couple of these in Cambridge where I went to university. So that's where I kind of fell in love with the place, but they actually have one in Norwich as well. So when I found that out, I knew we were definitely going to be coming here. You can never be too careful these days. Look at that alcohol rub. This is a classic dish on a night out, when you get back from a night out up north, whereas down south we just have chicken, which isn't as nice. For this quite large portion of chips, it only cost £2.60. £2.10. £2.10. Yeah, if you got this in London, I'm sure they'd try and charge £5 for it. But uh, outside of London, England's really not too expensive. Thank you. 
So India got a bit excited and she's bought, you can't really see, but it's a, a plant in a pot. Well, she's gonna make the plants. I'll grow it up tomorrow. And She'll grow it, but uh, <laughs> she's excited about that. <laughs> So we've come to a cute little cafe called the Espresso Cafe and we have both got two hot chocolates called Flumps and they're topped with whipped cream, marshmallows and Maltesers. They also have these wafers kind of filled with Nutella which are really good as well. Okay, let's have a try of this hot chocolate. So the hot chocolate comes with Maltesers and uh, marshmallows and whipped cream. And it's actually really good. One of the better hot chocolates that I've had. So we're here at Nando's, which is a Portuguese restaurant chain in uh, England. We're at the Norwich Nando's and we are excited to try the delicious Portuguese food. So basically Nando's is famous for their chicken, but they're also famous for their sauces that you can put with their chicken. So they'll have anything from extra hot, which is quite spicy, from medium to mild as well, especially some garlic and herb dip as well, which is what I like. Now, I really like spicy food, so my favorite Nando sauces are extra hot and extra, extra hot. So I've got a mango and lime chicken wrap with halloumi and garlic bread, and John's got extra hot chicken halloumi and garlic bread as well. Best thing about Nando's is definitely the halloumi. So good. It's really salty, uh, cheesy, not really stringy. But I don't know, we try and make the halloumi at home and it's never as good as, uh, as the way they make it here. I don't know how they do it, but it's so good. So that is our road trip finish. We're just driving back now to London, so it'll take us another two hours or so, so wish us good luck. So we are now back from our trip. It was really good. We had lots of good food. I think my favourite was the chips and gravy just because we don't really have it down here. What about you? Yeah, Norwich is a really cool place actually. It's a bit far out from London. If you're visiting London, maybe uh, if you're visiting for the first time, then you're not going to go to Norwich. But if you're a regular visitor to London or you're just in the UK, then Norwich is actually a really beautiful city. There's lots of cool stuff to do. Uh, my favourite food, probably the hot chocolate. I thought it was yeah, really good. good. Had Maltesers in it and I've never had that before. <laughs> um, so that was really good. And obviously my Mexican favourite, Nana Mexico, never fails to deliver. So that's it from us today, guys. So until next time. See ya. See ya.